Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I heard, and this might be a rumor, but let's find out, that it's gonna snow. Which could be pretty awesome because I've been waiting for this. Let's open up the weather network, yes! Weather advisory. All right, let's check if it actually is snowing now. Open the barn doors. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's see. A little bit of, ooh, I see flurries. I see flurries. Yes! That's awesome! All right, let's get some more light in here. Boom. Oh, by the way, this is uh, my new gimbal setup. How about a quick uh, little cinematic B-roll? Yeah, so what's funny about this setup is this is the Moza Air with crossbars on it, and then I also got this new arm for it that lets me control one of these Feel World 4K monitors that I'm actually really liking. What's funny about this though is this is my GH4 because I usually use the GH4 with the gimbal because the GH5, which I'm shooting with right now, has in-body stabilization, which the GH4 doesn't. But what's super funny is that this little lens on here is that little $35 lens. So I'm experimenting with the gimbal and a $35 Bokeh Beast, which you may have seen on my channel before. I'll put the link in the description. All right, so today's episode is, I mean, is it an even episode? Anyways, today's video is gonna be about faking snow if you don't live in a place where there's snow. Yes, look at this autofocus on the GH5. It is just beautiful. Just look how crisp it is. It looks so gorgeous and sharp. But yeah, today I'm gonna show you how to make your photos look like it's snowing in case you live somewhere it doesn't, or if it hasn't snowed in your area yet. People love snow shots and they're gonna do really well this time of year, so let's dive into it. One thing is I'm not gonna do this like POV style because I've been trying to do it for the last 10 minutes and it looks like shit every single time I do it. So what I'm gonna tell you really quick is the two apps we're gonna be using are Lens Distortions and Visco. And really quick, we're gonna dive into a screen recording now so that I don't have to do this POV style, which is driving me nuts. So let's cut to that now. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, welcome to the screen recording of my iPhone 10. We're gonna open up Visco. Now I already have a photo loaded in here. This is a shot that I took on my Pixel 2. I'll save that for another video. I edit all, or sorry, I shoot all my photos on the Pixel 2, but I edit in Visco. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually nothing with this photo. I'm actually just gonna save it just to make sure it's the first one in my camera roll. But we wanna start with a blank image that doesn't have anything really going on. No edits applied, no filters, whatever, because we're gonna go into lens distortions and I'm gonna pop that one up right there. So here's the photo in lens distortions. The first thing I kinda of wanna do is I like to add a little bit of a light leak just cause I like the contrast of a little bit of orange and the blue that we're actually gonna bring up quite a bit in the edit, which you'll see. So the first thing is we're gonna add a little bit of that orange. The second thing is the snow time. So Lens Distortion is just one of the best apps like ever if you wanna fake shit. <laughs> um, but what we're doing here is we're gonna add a little bit of snow. That This takes a bit of trial and error to get the one that feels the most like realistic. Like these look way too big in my opinion. So let's kill that. Um, then we're gonna add another layer again just to make sure. Let's try this one. Again, it's still feeling a little bit too chunky and big for me. We can try and play with the opacity on this. Actually, that's not too, too bad to be honest. I kind of like that. Maybe we'll add one more and we'll just fill it in a little bit and see how it's looking. Okay, just a little bit smaller now. Opacity down just slightly. Cool. So it kind of looks crappy right now, I understand that, but once we start editing, you'll see it kind of comes to life a little bit better. So let's save this and we're gonna jump back to Visco. I'm gonna pop that one in here. Boom. Okay, let's pop this open now. And we're gonna go in. So I usually keep all my filter settings like already set to go. Um, so I can just sort of tap on them and click on that. I think we're gonna get close to this one, but I'll remake it for you guys see what I need to do here. So we're gonna just gonna clear that. And we're gonna go back into here and we're gonna use this filter. We're gonna go into M5. Now M5 is super warm when you first get into it. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is cool that down. So we're gonna go into the white balance and just bring that temperature down slightly. Cool. The other thing we're gonna do is sharpen a bit. Always plus two sharpen. This is something I always do with all of my photos. Whether it's the Pixel 2 or the iPhone 10, I always use the sharpen. A Little bit of clarity because this is gonna pop that snow a little bit more. 
Now we need to bring a bit of this saturation back because this filter also desaturates slightly. So what's cool here is, I'm gonna play with the exposure just real quick, but what's cool here is that like glow that we added in the top right corner also makes the leaves look relatively orange. Um, so it's kind of got this fall vibe going on. I'm actually gonna cool this down just a little bit more actually. There we go. And we're gonna boost contrast just slightly. And there you go, fake snow. I'm gonna save that. And I will let you know how this one does because I'm gonna post it today. Boom. All right, let's get out of screenshot land. And we're back. All right, so that's how I edit photos to fake it, that it looks like snow. This thing will not autofocus. Oh my God, what the hell is going on? Anyways, guys, hope you like this video. I'm gonna actually go shoot some real snow now. But if there's no snow where you live, just remember, fake it till you make it.